This is the violin I have invented myself and I have built it myself with my own hands as well as I was able to do. It is not perfect, I mean it is not built perfect. Professionals can build it much better, but it works. What is the difference between this violin and ordinary violin? If we take ordinary violin, so we see that neck and uh, fingerboard is fastened solidly to the resonance box and strings also are fastened solidly to resonance box but if we take this violin we can see that a resonance box is fastened to the rest of the construction mainly just with two thread one thread is here and one thread is here maybe you can see yeah this one thread and here the other thread maybe such yeah and the uh, uh, strings are not fastened to the resonance box strings are fastened to this part of construction here but not to resonance box nevertheless bridge is on resonance box as uh, ordinary violin has there is one more thread here it uh, just uh, help resonance box to have the same position Uh, with uh, the rest of construction we can see that uh, uh, resonance box can move about rest of construction you can see so here yeah and we you see moves yeah and uh, I can show that uh, resonance box doesn't touch uh, the rest of construction any place just thread thread one more thread and bridge you see So, can you so here, here, <laughs> and such. Yes, do you see? So not here, not here, not here. So it doesn't touch uh, the rest of construction just in these four points. 
Now, why uh, to have such a construction? Here we have something on it. Not so good, you see. But if we take this away, Much better. Yes. The same thing with violin. We take an ordinary violin. Here <coughs> we have a shoulder support. Uh, it uh, helps uh, to hold violin I can hold so without home without hand but uh, uh, this uh, thing take some sound from violin because it uh, is put on resonance box and uh, some violinists uh, don't want to use this thing. Yasha Heifetz, for example, played without shoulder support. If we take it away from violin, it will be much better for a resonance box because uh, now it can uh, shake better than with this uh, heavy thing it's uh, not so heavy but uh, it's heavy enough to take some sound from violin and uh, now a uh, question we have also neck and fingerboard and head and we have this thing and we have this thing and all these things are on resonance box what if we could take away all these things how can we do it here is the way Here. Uh, now I can say that uh, every uh, vi uh, violin uh, will uh, sound better with this system including Stradivari Euler Guarneri violins and uh, if uh, a violin uh, costs for example $10,000 so with this system it will sound like a violin which cost 20,000 approximately not exactly but uh, it will sound much better this violin uh, now sounds better than before uh, this construction as it is built because I built myself at home it is not perfect and it has uh, one uh, fault one defect uh, when uh, I have violin first saw 
is if I hold with hand and then uh, if I take a hand away it means that I use no shoulder support so you can hear that it will be changed yeah you hear or oh, it's not good but I've uh, found temporary provisional solution I, I hope it's <laughs> provisional because um, I hope that somebody will uh, help me to make this construction better uh, it happened because happens because uh, this construction is not hard enough I was not able to do it hard enough so I hope uh, that it's possible but uh, now I have solution I said some provisional it is rubber it is elastic if you put it on valley and so on so you see now it happened it doesn't happen <laughs> doesn't happen uh, it's possible also to use the thread maybe some uh, supplement addition uh, but uh, in some uh, cases when you play Sometimes uh, it's uh, uh, good to play with this because uh, you have uh, support, but uh, it, it is not uh, <laughs> clear for me yet if I will use it uh, in future if uh, this provisional solution will uh, be not necessary but uh, violinist or violist they can try to play uh, ordinary violin ordinary uh, viola with uh, thread it's uh, interesting to try it. also this uh, uh, construction is a little bit heavy because it is iron uh, but I know that uh, there are some materials some metals which are uh, maybe more strong or at the same time much easier for example material uh, which I using uh, with plain building but uh, uh, though it will not happen though it will be not provisional solution but uh, some eternal <laughs> solution uh, it is possible to play so and uh, maybe it is even better than a play without uh, and uh, this uh, way uh, I mean weight uh, is uh, this heaviness it's not so much so I uh, stop to recognize that I have some heavy here in some minutes after I began if you uh, can see there is a screw there but uh, uh, it's possible to use not a screw but something else I mean uh, not to destroy violin 
for example, uh, you can take a piece of wood and uh, glue it here and this piece of wood will have some hole and you put thread in this hole or something else. Um, but uh, if you take glue away, uh, this uh, violin will be the same as before. Uh, maybe somebody can say, shall we destroy Stradivari to use with this construction? But uh, you don't need to destroy violin. You need just uh, to unglue it. I mean, just take away glue here from, and it is. Uh, not so terrible operation. It is ordinary operation. Uh, very many violins uh, was uh, the same uh, fatum. <laughs> uh, because uh, sometimes uh, they should be adjusted and uh, they uh, uh, must be unglued for all uh, to come in into and uh, to do what you m must do with violin so it, this operation is not uh, something extraordinary it's uh, the whole ordinary operation so if you take Stradivari and uh, you take glue from this, I mean uh, you unglue here and you have just resonance box. You can put it in this system if you don't like it, you can take this back and uh, fasten the uh, neck and back to this violin. So it will be not destroyed. So, this construction can be used, I mean, this uh, principle of construction can be used not just for violin, and of course for viola, for cello, for uh, double bass, for guitar, for uh, every instrument uh, which has resonance box. Also, will I say something? Uh, about uh, shoulder support. I said uh, that uh, it take takes uh, sound from violin and therefore uh, the violinists uh, who use this, they should have some bad feelings. I had bad feelings about it. I uh, stopped to use it for 20 years ago and I played maybe 10 years without. And then I saw that <laughs> It's very difficult to play without uh, shoulder support uh, if you play in high positions. But uh, if you use it, you have bad conscience. But now, I think, uh, I'm sure, uh, violinists uh, can play with shoulder support with clean conscience thank you for watching